Welcome back everybody to Growing Organic. All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get rid of powdery mildew on your plants. You can see here I have a zucchini. This is called a cube of butter zucchini. Right here you can see this leaf is pretty infected. That's a lot of, lot of mold right there. You can see with all the grayish white spots on the top and on the bottom. So I did a video a couple weeks ago and I uh, used a different method and that was using milk or, ha or half and half creamer. You can go back and watch that one as well. But you really need to treat your plants at least every week because they'll, this mold will take over very quickly, especially at this time of year. It's starting to cool down. There's a lot of moisture still in the air where I live here. I live right near the ocean in zone 10, 10B. So at nighttime, a lot of moisture comes in from the uh, marine layer and it just sits on your plants and the mold spores just love to grow in those conditions. You can see some of this is not in the mold. This is actually just the pattern of the leaves. So if you look under here, there's no mold on these new leaves. So that's a really good sign. That means we'll be able to save this plant. It won't get completely destroyed if we get rid of this problem. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, cut off some of these bad look really bad looking ones like this one right here uh, this one over here we'll just go ahead and completely just cut that off throw that in the trash far away this one over here so I'll get the scissors trim off some of the worst ones probably that one too and then we'll get into the spraying I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of this uh, powdery mildew with a new method that I'm going to show you that works really good. One of the best organic options you can possibly do to manage um, your powdery mildew problem. This is a squash, as I said, but it seems to be getting the worst of the problems. I have a cucumber over here and it seems to be doing pretty well getting a uh, a lot of cucumbers and no real mold. Oh, actually over here, a little bit of the powdery mildew here. You can see it's, this stuff really spreads quickly. So you have to be on top of this. And literally in a couple days, you can come out and see your plants could eventually be 100% destroyed and you'll have to tear them out of the ground. Look how nice that looks though. a lot of good healthy growth coming up I don't want to get that infected so you really I want to emphasize staying on top of this there's a good shot of that let me get a close-up that's the powdery mildew just mold that grows and grows So that's a nice close-up of it. All right, so I got myself some scissors here. Any, any type will do to trim this. So I'm gonna come in here, get rid of this one. Let me just trim some of these other ones back out of the way as well. So make a pile. Make sure you throw that in the garbage far away so it can't spread. Let's cut this one here. Those mold spores will just blow around in the wind so this stuff is really contagious basically. Look at that. So as you can see, it can kill your plants very quickly. 
this one is, so I wouldn't cut this one down. This one still doesn't have that big of a problem, so there's no need to cut those that uh, leaf off. So after I trim that off, let's see, there's one here. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off as well. I like how these things grow, though you can see there's like a, that long trunk there just growing along. Just snaking out of the pot onto the ground. And it's just going to keep growing along the, the concrete here. Let's see here. Cut this. This one. Let's see this one. I might as well cut this one as well. Alright, that looks pretty good. It's pretty good. I think the rest of it we can spray. Alright, what I got here for starters, this is a uh, 32 ounce spray bottle. I filled up to about, left a couple ounces low there so I could still um, have some room. And what we're going to use is just your basic baking soda that you have uh, probably in your house. So we're going to mix in 30 ounces. I like to put it in, in here first because it's a little easier to mix and pour in the bottle. So 30 ounces to with one half of a tablespoon. A half of a tablespoon is all you're going to need. Don't go too much because you you can burn your plants. If you go too strong with this, it'll sit on your plants and kind of kind of burn so you don't want to overdo this so that's a half of a tablespoon to 30 ounces a little less than a the spray bottle so that's dissolved in nicely and what I'll do is just go ahead and pour that back in Sorry for all the noise, it's a Saturday weekend. I live at right by the beach, tons of people coming back. Again, we live, I'm here at the beach, um, very close. So we're getting a lot of overcast, a lot of moisture through the night and it, and in the, the cool mornings doesn't allow the moisture to dry off the leaves. So this is why we're getting this. So let's go ahead Got our spray bottle. We're going to spray the tops. And the bottoms of the leaves. So start with all the tops and then we'll come back. And do the underneath. It looks like this one I might cut off. That one looks pretty bad. So uh, that's if it's that bad, you can see that condition. You probably want to go ahead and cut that off. That doesn't look like it could be worth saving. We still have plenty of other leaves, so keep that in mind. If you have plenty of other leaves and you have new growth coming up, that's a good sign that you'll have other leaves to fill in. I should also mention, you need to do this when there's no direct sunlight. So right now it's about 5 o'clock, you can see the sun is kind of going down in that direction. So there's no more sun on this, completely cool weather. You cannot do this in the direct, direct sun, you will, you will definitely fry your plants. Now if you're using that milk solution that I used uh, in the last video, if you haven't seen that you guys can check that video out as well it's also an excellent method but I like to mix it up don't let the plants get used to one particular thing I think uh, maybe do the milk one week and then next week do the baking soda mixture 
Now this is the one I think I might cut out. So change it up a little bit. I think this is probably a little stronger. What it actually does is it makes the surface more alkaline and the, the mold cannot grow in an alkaline environment. It needs some more of acidic. So this it's biocarbonate. Um, basically what this is, is raises the pH. And now the mold spores cannot live in in a high alkaline state. So no fungus can grow. You're creating an environment that it just won't survive. So, so this is looking better already. Let me set the camera down because I want to get underneath so you can see. Make sure you get the underneath because there's going to be those spores there as well. So it's not too bad really. If you stay on top of this and don't let it get out of hand, you can really combat this and keep it at bay so you can continue getting your nice vegetables. Continue getting your nice vegetables into the fall without any more mildew problems. And also one more tip, as you're spraying this on, take your hand and kind of wipe off that, that mildew. That's going to solve a lot of your problems as well. So this one just had it on it and I just blasted it off. Here's another one. See if you just take your thumb. and kind of polish it off. So you can see I'm just kind of wiping it down. You can get a sponge, a little sponge, or so I'm really not only preventing it from growing, but I'm actually wiping it off so it doesn't have a chance to, to grow back as well. So that'll save you a lot as well by actually wiping it. Just spraying it alone is not going to do as good of a job as actually taking this and just wiping them down. See how much better that looks already. Just by using my thumb here, I'm just wiping that surface and then I'll just give it another. See, that's, that's going to guarantee to get rid of it. These cucumber plants are doing good. So I'll continue doing that. And also I should, should say just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not starting to form. So any sign whatsoever, like this one right here, take a look at your leaves so you can see it over here. We got a problem over here as well. So I wanna make sure we get all every single area on your plant that has any signs of it make sure you completely eradicate it like this leaf right here now that leaf I'm gonna actually pull off when it's that bad of condition I would probably pull maybe both of those those two off you can see scissor those off so let me go ahead and finish this up but this is a really pretty looking cucumber plant here. Flowers. There's actually three different cut types of cucumbers growing in here, mixed in the same same uh, planter here. Okay. To the front yard let me show you got some some bad leaves here with the mold on as well same situation I'm gonna cut out the worst ones such as this one this one here we cut out a 
over here. So we, we have quite a bit of leaves. We're not too concerned about killing, losing this plant because there's just a massive amount of leaves. So first do our pruning and then we'll do this whole spray as well. I got a whole nother container I mixed up here. So I used an, an entire 30 ounces on that last, that last plant, that zucchini. So this is not only a treatment, but also a preventative measure to keep this at bay. All right, folks, well, that's just about it. I'll finish this up. Again, I'm gonna pull out some of these, these bad ones and go ahead and spray this entire plant. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it when uh, you're saving your plant from getting worse and you'll still have a good harvest into the fall without any problems. So it's just a little bit of maintenance once a week. Keep track of this and you should have a successful harvest without having to trash your plants. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.